Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. This one is feeling much better, aren't you? Yeah? She had a rough few days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. She was a bit better yesterday. My phone's getting better. But she is starting to feel a bit better now, which is good. Um, so... And um, today we're getting more swimming, honey. Right, so today we have an appointment at Dr. Grace to get her moulds for her hearing aids. Um, now I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen because we weren't expecting her to have grommets put in when she had her tonsils out. Um, but they decided to put them in because last time she had grommets, so she had grommets when she was- A baby. Three, I think. And uh, It was just after Joseph was born, so 2000. Yeah, I think she was three. So she had grommets when she was three, and um, and they didn't work. They, they initially worked, then they fell out, um, and then obviously her hearing so problems have got. What happened when they didn't work and then everyone fell out? Yeah, yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, so obviously she's had hearing problems on and off ever since then, and as you know, when if you fall out of the system of waiting lists and everything else then it takes ages to get put back on them so it's taken us a long time to get to this point but now she's had grommets and since she had a, her operation her hearing has got slightly better i mean it's not where it should be but it is a little bit better now the grommets are still in at the moment it's like but my middle. yeah in the middle but obviously my worry is that if they fall out we go back to square one with her hearing again so we're coming along for this appointment anyway i'm not sure whether they're going to do the molds whether we're going to i don't know what's going to happen i need to speak to them to see what the best thing is to do obviously you know in an ideal world she wouldn't have any of these problems but looking at it from what we've kind of battled through for the last four or five years um after having the first set of grommets and how much she struggled with her hearing and then covid happened and you know everything was on the waiting for everything and then getting her back seen again and One time, it's, there is COVID, so we had to cancel yeah so everything's just been such a long process to get to this point um it's i don't so i just don't want to go back to square one again for her because she's she's struggled so much with school hearing um she's missed out on so much stuff her speech um isn't quite where it should be for her age because she's obviously missed out on a lot of sounds from when she was small. I mean, she's had hearing problems ever since she was tiny. Um, so we're just gonna kind of, you know, wait and see. By the way, she's not sat in the front with no car seat. She was sat in the back, but as we've stopped in the car park, she's come and sat in the front, just in case anyone was worried. She's just um, playing with all the buttons in the front of the car. She's getting very bored at home but she is teaching herself to play the keyboard aren't you you've been teaching herself to play the I keyboard like to play happy birthday, you can play happy birthday you played it all day yesterday on the keyboard um she's getting very bored it erin <laughs> isn't a child that can just stay at home and and just lie on the sofa and be poorly she has to be up doing stuff all the time so she's really struggling with not being at school so i think hopefully next week you might be able to go back don't you it's good to see that she's feeling much better um isn't it yeah because she's been a bit rough over the weekend it's been a bit horrible isn't it been waking up in the night with a really sore throat and everything out your glasses are dirty so anyway i'll clean them in a minute for you we're going to go in we're going to see what they say um i've forgotten to eat my breakfast so i'm really hungry because it was a bit of a rush to get out of the house this morning Wait, did you get to yeah because we had to leave the house by like 25 past eight because i had to drop lizzie at college first um and then come over here. Luckily, there's loads of car parking spaces. This is old college. Used to be in Elgin. It is in Elgin. She is go to college in Elgin. She, got, she dropped off at the art building today. It's different. The other part of the college. She's confused because there's lots of different parts of the college. And Lizzie's in the art building, which is um, kind of around the back. So it's just a different entrance. That's all. Anyway, we're going to go in and um, see what they say. So we'll let you know when we get back. Bye.
that's really good. Morning guys, so uh, it's Thursday morning. Zoe's just left with Erin to go to the hospital uh, to get uh, her ears sized up for hearing aids. Uh, and also have a look at her ears, I think, as well. I think they're gonna do things like that. I am literally just about to get ready for the school run. And then I'm gonna take a walk into town with Joseph and Florence to go uh, pick up some meds from the um, pharmacy and just have a quick, have a quick walk. Get out in the fresh air, get Joseph out in the fresh air and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm literally gonna get the kids, kids ready for school and walk up to school in a second. Um, isn't she good on the piano? It's really good. So I've managed to fix, uh, Noah basically got, he got that keyboard for Christmas probably about five years ago, right? And it's not been working for about a year. And I thought, so yesterday I thought, I'm gonna try and get that fixed. And I managed to get a new power lead for it. It was the, it was the power lead that I busted. So I managed to get a new power lead for it. And it's working again now. So, that, so the twins love it. So Erin has Aaron's been on it. Leah's been on it. They, they use their um, iPads to get these like teaching, piano teaching things up. Uh, but they're really good. <laughs> They've been on it constantly for two days, but they're really, really good. So um, I'm glad I got that fixed actually. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get the kids ready for school. I'm going to take them up to school uh, and then we'll go for a walk, I think. So I'll catch you in a bit. see your ears I think you should wear them you look like you look like some thieves from space <laughs> you think you can't hear a word <laughs> okay so all went really well didn't it yeah so I spoke to um, a lady's lovely I spoke to her about having had her operation having her grommets etc etc I spoke to her about like the worries of as she said the grommets as long as her, ha her ears were you know happy not not sore or anything else we could go ahead with the molds and i said about my fears of um you know if they fall out and her hearing goes back to how bad it was because her hearing is up and down all the time so ever since she's been small um the thing with gluia and any other problems she's got with her hearing is that it's it's it kind of goes up and down and i mean we were at a really bad patch before last week um, before she had an operation where her hearing was probably the worst it's ever been um, and really struggling with school and everything else but she's always had a level of um, you know she could she could have 10 hearing tests and she'd pass two of them um, so it's been quite a long time like I said to get to this point because it's not consistent having glue ear and things isn't consistent it can be worse some days than it is others and then you know chuck in the pandemic and all the other things and you've just got a recipe for you know uh, a bit of a disaster so we're at the point we're at now which is really good she's had her molds done haven't you yeah. they put they put like putty in your ears don't they it's really cool it's so cool they put um they put like this sort of foam bit in the very inside of the ear um with like a string attached to it and then they fill the ear with like this putty that the syringe in that like activates yeah i know it's that is florence's um that then kind of sits and dries in the ear and when you pull it out it's a little um mold of the inside of the ear how cool and guess and what else what else did the lady said she said you can choose your colors didn't she and what color are you going to have She's gonna have one pink um, in a bit and one purple and in a bit, and the glittery. And then I think the hearing aid itself is gonna be pink. So I mean that is it's it's so brilliant that you can choose. I mean I never thought that she'd be able to choose colours or designs. I mean they even have ones with like rainbow and stars, and it's just brilliant that it kind of makes it um, it makes it such a better experience for children that have to have um the hearing aids i guess really it's 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 just brilliant that she can have um choose different colors and stuff like that 
She's been to so many doctors because she's special. You have been to a lot of doctors, baby, I know. You've got a lot of hospital appointments over the years. Um, it's freezing outside today. The temperature's dropped about 10 degrees. Um, so yeah, all has gone well. I'm happy that I was, I was really worried that we were kind of going to go back. Um, so I'm happy that we're where we are at. So she's going to get them made and then they're going to get back into co contact with us um, to go in and have them fitted. She did actually say that she could do two levels for like when her hearing is really bad, a, a setting for when her hearing's really bad and when it's slightly better because of um, having grommets. Um, so that would be helpful as well. She'll probably have to have another hearing test as well. Um, have you nicked my mask? Yeah. I've got so many masks kicking around because I always forget you've got to have them for the hospital. And we used to like buy them all the time and now we don't really buy them anymore. Um, but yeah, so all has gone well. I think Ben has gone to take Joseph to get um, to the chemist to pick up Olivia's medication because Olivia ran out of her medication. Didn't Wait, think to tell us that she'd run out. Why did Joseph go to the uh, He doesn't. They've got to pick up... Um, Olivia's medication from the chemist. Olivia's on um, uh, tablets for her asthma. Um, it's sort of Saturday. She said, I think I've run out. Because can't put a prescription until Monday. She needs to take these tablets to keep her asthma at, at a level. But she said, I thought I had another bottle, but she didn't. So I'm an adult now. Gonna, you're, you're big now. Um, we're going to go and pick them up. So she's gonna, he's going to go and pick them up today. Um, so yeah, we're going to go home. I'm going to get some breakfast. And I changed some beds, I think. Get on with my normal daily jobs. And we're in and out. It's half past nine. We're in and out. Done. Brilliant. So we can go home now. You can play the piano. Yes. Uh-huh. And um, Mummy's got some jobs to get on with. And maybe we'll do some more homework this afternoon. Yeah? yeah? Right, so we're going back. Are you alright Joseph? Yeah. Okay. I have a spider blanket. Alright, have you got your spider blanket? Yeah. Hi Jojo. Are you coming for a walk with Daddy? Yeah. Where are we going? Are we going to go to the medicine shop, the pharmacy? Yeah? yeah. Do you want to go and look at the beach for a little bit? Yeah. Get some fresh air, yeah? yeah. Good stuff. Where's your sister? Yeah. Oh, she's fast asleep. Florence is fast, fast asleep, bless her. Right, should we walk? Yes. Good. Okay, so we're on our way down to uh, Lossie. I'm gonna go to the pharmacy. Do you like buggy cam? I've got my selfie stick, my selfie stick is set up on top of the buggy and it's like buggy cam. It's quite cool actually, because it's really difficult. It's really difficult to vlog and to push a buggy at the same time. I never knew how difficult until now. So anyway, I've just had some good news from Zoe um, that Erin's finished at the hospital. She's been sized up for her hearing, ha hearing aids and she's gonna get some purple glittery sparkly ones. That's really cool. It's really cool. It's really cool that they think about the kids and how they're gonna look and how they're gonna feel having hearing aids and they can kind of go and show them off to their kid, their friends, can't they, at school and all that kind of stuff. It's really good. So, um, a little bit bumpy. So I'm happy with that. Zoe's on her way home now, but um, like I said, I'm just on my way to the pharmacy. And it's just a nice, gives us an opportunity to get a bit of fresh air with Joseph. Get him out of the house for a bit. Bless him. Sorry, I was just negotiating the traffic lights. Um, yeah, we might even stop at the bridge and have a quick look at the sea because that's always a nice thing to do as well and uh, before we head back mm -hmm. home but I'm on nights as Zoe said I'm on nights this week so I am going into uh, I head off to work about two o'clock in the afternoon but it's actually quite nice to have a bit of time in the day to um, catch up with a few things but it's kind of we have to kind of figure out how we do our vlogs and how we get them edited and how we get them uploaded and all that so if there's any difference that's why I'm quite liking buggy cam, it's quite good.
It's nice down here today, Jojo. Joseph, should we go and have a look on the bridge? Yeah, this is the new bridge, you're right. Should we go out and have a look at the sea? Yeah. Do you want to get out and have a look at the sea in a minute? Yeah. Okay. Are you liking the beach? One. Yeah. Okay, we're back on uh, Buggy Cam. That was a lovely little walk on the beach. I mean, we only spent 20 minutes there, 15, 20 minutes, but um, Joseph enjoyed himself. He didn't want to get out though. He didn't want to go out of the buggy and get his feet sandy, but that's fine. But it's nice, nice to just get a little bit of fresh air. Uh, down on the beach, can't beat the beach, honestly. I love the beach, love going walking on the beach. Bouncy bit. But we're gonna head back home now. Yeah. Catch up with uh, Zoe. Yeah. And Erin. Yeah, Joseph, should we catch up with mummy? Yeah. Good boy. So we'll see you back at the house. Hi, Erin. Hey. So how did that go? How was hospital? Good. Was it good? Did you have that sticky green stuff put on your ears? Yeah. So you had sticky green stuff put on the ears, didn't you? Yeah, to size your ears to get you uh, your hearing aids. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. So I just had a catch up with Zoe. She's just upstairs now. Um, having, I think she's doing the boys' room. She's doing a bit of the boys' room, boys' beds or something. Um, you play the piano? Yeah. They love this piano, honestly. Let's the show keyboard. Them. Let's show them something. Go on then. Do you want to show them something? Yeah. Go on then. They love this keyboard, honestly. Very good. Well done. Is it good having the uh, keyboard? Is it good fun? Yeah. Well done, darling. Okay, so I just want to give you a quick update on the car, uh, the car situation. So uh, we've decided to get a quote the uh, the quote I've got is for between five hundred and six hundred pounds. Now it's a, it is a lot of money, but um, we we kind of weighed up the pros and cons. If we were to scrap my car and then try and buy another car, and then you're buying another second hand car that you don't really know, and then something could go wrong with that. I know my car. I've had it for quite a while now, so we've made the decision to. Um, get Keith up the road, uh, Murray Motors, to replace the clutch. So that's that's what he suggested to do, is replace the clutch. And then everything will be fixed, and that'll be the car back on the road. So that's the decision we've made. Um, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, what, what else can you do? That's the problem with cars. You have cars, they go wrong. You, you have to get them fixed. MOTs, you dread MOTs, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But we but we need a car to get around so um, and get to work and all that kind of stuff. So you kind of um, have to bite the bullet and crack on and get it fixed. So that's what we're doing. So that just means I've got to try and get it up to Keith this week um, for him to fix next week. He's booked in for next week because he's got loads of work on. So um, he's going to get it fixed for next week. So fingers crossed, next week we'll have a car back uh, will, and we'll, we'll have both the cars up, back up and running, which means we can go out to on nice walks and stuff again and things like that. So, um, and obviously... Zoe needs her car and I'm borrowing her car to go to work and stuff. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed we're back on the road next week. So that's good news. Okay. So, um, I've done Noah's bed. Uh, I haven't done the other two yet. I'll do them tomorrow. I've done, I'm on my third load of washing. Is in at the moment. Done the bathroom, done the toilet, tidied up, kind of. Um, 
everybody baby's back up baby's back baby's up uh after a nap she slept for quite a long time actually when they went on their walk so they got back a little while a little while ago um and i think we're gonna get on with some lunch now it's a bit different today because um normally on a wednesday uh isabel and olivia would have a dance class one over in elgin and then two back in lossie but because ben's got the car i can't take them tonight so um they will all just be walking down to the classes in lossie later um again same tomorrow night um olivia's getting a lift for her comp class but the younger ones i mean erin wouldn't have been going anyway but the younger ones won't be going tomorrow um because obviously i can't get them there and then friday is the same so it's a bit of a it's quite a big bit of a pain to be honest because then you know the classes that have already been paid for so um and they they're coming up to a show as well so really they, they kind of need to be there to be um learning but there's not much i can do sometimes there's just things that are just beyond your control and you just can't do anything about it um i'm trying to find the cat i don't know where he, he is oh he's not in here he's normally in here so yeah um sometimes it's just I rack my brain sometimes of ways to make sure that everybody gets everywhere they need to be um and sometimes you just can't do it so i just can't do it this week and that's just you know i know they're disappointed but sometimes you just can't do everything i do try normally to you know take people here there and i come if i come back here and then i do this and then i do that and you know we work around it normally even if it takes you know quite a lot of trips and all those sorts of things but like i said sometimes you just excuse me can't do anything about it so it is what it is this week until we can get his car fixed it'll be easier next week because he'll be on days and then hopefully after that his car will be fixed finger fingers crossed um i had to also move um leah was supposed to pick up her new glasses tomorrow um before we went to the dance class uh, so after school, before she went to her class, we were supposed to go into El Elgin Specsavers to pick up her glasses, but obviously we can't. Um, we can't do that. So we've moved that. I've managed to move that to Saturday, so it's only a couple of extra days. So I can take her there on Saturday afternoon. So that's she'll have her glasses for next week. So hopefully, Erin will be back at school and Leah will be back at school with new glasses. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, I found a cat. Hi. Hi. You say hi. Yes. I know. Oh, say hi. Are you just chilling out? Hey, you're chilling out on Erin's bed. Yeah. You okay? Hey, you're beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. You're perfect. Yeah, you're very pretty, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, yeah. He likes Erin's bed because the window's open. So he gets a bit of fresh air. And he gets the comfy bed too. You like lying where there's a window open, don't you? Hey. But you've got to be a little bit careful because sometimes he tries to climb out of them and there's just a sheer straight down there so he'd fall out. Because he's he's not all that bright, and we found him on the outside of the window before. If you leave it open too far, okay. yeah. Right, I'm off to do some lunch. Um, so I'll see you after. How you doing guys? So um, lunch is all done and dusted. Um, we've just begun with a couple of jobs, about two o'clock in the afternoon now. I'm just away to go to work um, for my night shift. So it's just a case of, of me saying, see you later. Uh, see you in the next vlog, the next catch up vlog that we do. Um, I don't know if it'll be the weekend now, probably. Possibly the weekend now. But um, Zoe's just in doing a couple of jobs. Um, but for now, I'm gonna hand over to her to finish the vlog and it's just for me to say thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next vlog take care and bye bye see ya say hi 
<laughs> so it's Ben's gone to work um, and the day has just disappeared. He went to work at about two um, and then it was picked them up from school time. And then that ran into by the time I'd finished doing all the lunch boxes and drinks and all that sort of stuff. It was um, tea time. Uh, now the older ones are getting ready to walk down to dancing and I am going to bath and shower. Well, bath actually. Bath, I think. Well, bath. We're not going to shower you, are we? Going to bath all the little ones. Yeah, for bed. Yeah, you're just going to have a bath? You look to have a bath? You need a bath because you've literally just somebody gave you chocolate at dinner, didn't they? And it looked like a hand grenade had been thrown in the kitchen, didn't it? Because you got to everywhere. And now your hair is kind of a bit sticky. Your clothes are kind of a bit sticky. Yeah? Yeah? You need a good bath. So that's it. That's it, kitty. That's it, guys. Kind of lost the ability to speak. Are you saying bye? Are you? You're a clever girl. So I've got iron to do tonight, which is fun. Ben's obviously okay. at work until 11 ish. Um, he normally gets in, and I'm normally already asleep on the sofa, to be fair, so I don't make much sense. So it's kind of. Yeah, we don't have much of a conversation when he gets in because I'm half asleep. Um, but he does speak to the girls because they're still up, pretty much. Yeah. So, that's it. Um, I'm going to go and get this lot ready for bed. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Ooh. Oh, dear. Um, don't forget to drop us a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ooh. Check out our link tree for links to our Facebook and Instagram. And we'll catch Ooh. you in the next video. Say bye. Say bye. Ooh. She's comfy now. <laughs>